this is it. Happy now. You're right on time. As I'd expect, Kiryu-san. Welcome to Bleach Japan. Gee, thanks. You know, I get this place is just another front for you, but still. Little on the drab side, don't you think? <laughs> as long as it keeps people from sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And why care? I'm done with Palakana. It was only a matter of time before that deal ran its course. What? Uh, surely it was obvious. Nele Island, the disposal site. It was nothing but a cheap hole in the ground. The cave would naturally fill up at some point, which would mean, of course, pollution. It wouldn't work. Even with influence over the other countries involved, eventually the truth would come out. Frankly, I'm not sure what Bryce was thinking. Whether the truth remained hidden or not was of little consequence in the grand scheme of things. It was destined to fail, and nothing could have changed that. <laughs> so, what? You don't care? Then why? Why do any of this? Much as it pains me, my own aspirations were never meant to be. Ebina, where's Sawashiro? Why, he's right here. <laughs> Sawashiro. Ebina, you bastard! What are you all so angry about? He's done the same to others countless times, has he not? Time and time again. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. I merely gave him what he rightly deserved. Of course, there's also those on Nele Island. They'll receive due punishment as well. What's your problem? What do you have against the Yakuza? <sighs> Why ask what you already know? My mother, as you learned, was the Hikawa Patriarch's daughter, Yuriko Hikawa. And my father, just as you surmised, was Masumi Arakawa. Regardless of whatever her father intend all her heart. On the other hand, she also knew that the man harbored deep feelings for another woman. Thus she felt both joy and guilt. Indeed she was engaged, but it was undeniably a mixed blessing. Perhaps if she bore their child, Arakawa couldn't ignore that. Surely his feelings would sway. <laughs> Wishful thinking on her part. And then you came into the picture. Correct. But before the pregnancy came to light, Hikawa came under Arakawa's wrath. The family was destroyed. My mother was always frail, you see. Once she had me, the burden of raising a child alone was too much. A Yakuza's bonds are thicker than blood, we were told. <sighs> foolish words from foolish people. They never gave my mother a chance. When Hikawa died, the family went with him. I watched his men scatter like the rats they are. And yet... Please don't hate them. Not your father. Not any of them. Those were her last words. She was a fool too, it seems. Betrayed by the man she loved, used by her own father, and tossed aside by those who called her family. If not her, if she couldn't take revenge, then why on earth shouldn't I? That's when this started. You wanted to make the Yakuza pay. That's right. Still, you said it yourself just now. Your aspirations were never meant to be. <laughs> How could they be? What would I have done? There's too many of you to count. Do I go around killing them one by one? Believe me, I would if I were able. <sighs> Everything I've accomplished, why... It was simply the next best thing. 
A compromise, you might say. Honestly, it's been a long road. I first tried to eradicate your kind as a police officer. But you were one step ahead of me. Your great dissolution scattered you all to the wind. And that wasn't all. Okawa went and got himself killed. That's when I realized vengeance would never be mine. That snake. I wanted to wring his neck myself. <gasps> Masumi Arakawa. It's true he was loved among the Yakuza, oh yes. But all I see is the wretch who left my mother to die. Ichiban Kasuga's reverence for him is a joke. A sick mockery of my life! Kasuga's blind as they come. He's no different than those that Bryce fooled. Another Palakana pig suckling at shit. You son of a... <sighs> anyway, my dream to strike back at Arakawa had clearly been denied. It took a good deal of time to recover, but I knew I needed a new plan. So I set sights on the Yakuza freed in the dissolution. All those years preying on those weaker than them, and now they wanted an honest life? Their dream would be as futile as mine. Then it dawned on me. So what if they're scattered? I'll just round them up. The Tojo and the Omi might have disbanded, but not the Seryu clan. I baited new recruits however I could. A new Yakuza life? Fine. A cushy seat in society? But of course. Sure enough, they came marching in by the droves. Ants! Trickling in at the promise of sugar. <laughs> if they only knew how stupid they looked. No later than that, I began thinking of a way to get rid of them all. When from Bryce comes a special business venture courtesy of our very own Eiji. By then they'd already secured an LA island with Fujinomiya shipping as the means of transport. They just couldn't find the manpower. Now they were dealing with radioactive material, so that was only natural. But to me, well, it all sounded very convenient. Those stooges in the Serio clan. I knew just what to do with them. It was clear as day. I could make them suffer, subject them to far more than just unloading waste. Nele Island is effectively a giant black box. There'd be no running away, no refuge from their pain. Their cries would never escape the island. They'd be at my whim, wouldn't they? What a gift. The island turned out to be like an antlion's trap. Before long, it would drag them all to hell. <laughs> Eiji proved more valuable than I thought. Nele Island wasn't all he brought me. I haven't told you, have I? Eiji's the one who figured out the truth behind Chairman Hoshino's murder. Wait, what? While at Bleach Japan, he learned much about Ryo Aoki. Or perhaps I should call him Masato Arakawa, yes? That hit on Hoshino was a ruse. Sawashiro was, for all intents and purposes, innocent in the affair. Amazing what a little leverage can do. He joined the Serio without hesitation. Right, and then you had Eiji's web skills. Tatara Channel was your ace in the hall. Indeed it was. Well, I suppose that's enough. It's almost ironic, wouldn't you say? Masumi Arakawa leaves two sons behind. One who worships the ground he walks on, and the other who spits on his grave. One works to rehabilitate the Yakuza, and the other, in all his hatred, sends them to their doom. We're mirror images. He and I. <laughs> You're not wrong there. But Ebina, there's one thing you might add to that. Care to guess what it is? 
<laughs> Go on. You said the nuclear waste project was a compromise for taking revenge on the Yakuza, right? You said it was impossible to go after all of them. Ichiban's different. <laughs> that moron. He seriously tried to give every one of them a normal life again. He sat there day after day, no matter how impossible it might have seemed. <laughs> Hot dog. I wish Ichiban could have heard all that. Tell him and I'll knock your lights out. Ebina, it's clear you're angry. I won't deny you that. I wouldn't have the right. It was a different time. But when I was chairman of the Tojo, I had a chance. I could have changed the Yakuza for the better. I should have. But I did no such thing. Uh, Kiryu-san. Still, this has to end. I can't just sit back and watch as you burn it all to the ground. It's up to me to stop you. And believe me, I will. I'm gonna set this right. The sins of the Yakuza are mine. And if I have to, I'll take on every last one. Hmm. How very noble of you. Come on, you forget what we said downstairs? You and the lone wolf routine, I swear. Yeah, seriously. Now let's finish this together, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. Well then, let's begin. Kazuma Kiryu is about to make his final stand. And at the Millennium Tower, no less. What could be more fitting? <sighs> yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Time to die. Kazuma Kiryu! Come on! Is all you want, you're still Yakuza. That's all you'll ever be. Huh? What's the whole? Ah! Maneuver. Oh. A 
comes. Take.
Let's settle this once and for all. of obstruction. Responsibility. You disgust me. Try this on the side. Out of it. Ah! 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 Wanna play, do we? You're going to regret this. Who wants to go? Okay. Try to stop this. You asked for it. This will be fun. Allow me. Time to put you down. 
See you again soon. I'm not back. I won't hold back. It's over.
That's enough now. Why don't we finish this? Yeah. <sighs> Kiryu-san! Kill me. Kill you, son. This is your problem. It's why the Yakuza keep rearing their ugly heads. The lot of you. Whether you retire. Whether you disband, you always come crawling back. You're a Yakuza through and through, and you can't erase that no matter what. You'll say sorry again and again, and then find some way to justify it. The bigger the Yakuza, the bigger and better the future they promise. All so they can keep on fighting. If you let me live, how long before I too come crawling back? But someone can pick up the pieces. Rid the world of your filth! If not me, then someone else! The country's elite demand it. They were counting on me to see it through. If you don't finish me off, the future stays the same. I'll still make an example of the Yakuza one way or another. If you truly want them all to break free and find their place in this world, then hurry up and put an end to this before it's too late! I've lived in the twilight of the Yakuza all my life! You get rid of me, or I will keep cutting back! Do you understand, Kazuma Kiryu? Ebina. Nothing I say would ever be enough, and I've no right to try. The hate you have for Arakawa. For Ikawa. The crush you've carried. I get it. But please. I beg you. For their sake. Give them the chance to atone. There's one way to do that. We all have to live on, whether you're scum or not. That doesn't matter. You can't change a thing if you're dead. All of us, we have to keep going. And it's not light, nor is it dark. It's the grayest road there is. So please, Ebina, please. You have to live. You have to keep moving. I'm asking you, please don't kill them. Please. I'll apologize. I know it won't be good for any of this. But I... I'm sorry. Forgive me. No! Kiryu-san! Stay with us, Kiryu-san! 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 Open your damn eyes, Kiryu! Kiryu-san! Don't die! You can't die! Kiryu!